This is the flag of South Africa. And this is the world political map of South Africa. We are now traveling in South Africa. After seeing the Kruger National Park, our next route will be exploring the most scenic drive that is the Panorama Route. It connects several cultural and natural points of interest. This route is centered around the Blyde Canyon, the world's third largest canyon. This is the map of Panorama Route. This is Hazy View where we started. And these are the landmarks of the Panorama Route. The Panorama Route starts from Hazy View. We are now crossing the Hazy View town itself. Hazy View is also a resting point like White River Town for the tourists traveling to Kruger National Park. The meandering roads is adding more beauty to the scenery. See all around, the views are so magnificent. We can see a group of cycle racists following the panorama route. Now we'll turn leftwards grass cop. The roads are so well maintained. Now this scene with the flat-topped mountain in front of us looks really awesome. A herd of cows just crossed in front of our bus. I am finding this panorama route more scenic than the garden route we had covered earlier. In this small gorge, people often come for bungee jumping. Now the landmarks of the panorama route are, I'll discuss now. First comes the gorge window. Our first stop is at gorge window. The whole area is under Blyde River Canyon Reserve. 
from the bus parking, we need to walk uphill to the viewpoint for around one kilometer approximately. On the way, a series of small souvenir shops we'll buy when we come back. We need to walk through a small jungle area. And this is the lookout point of God's window. What a breathtaking view. Now it's a gorge of 1000 meter height. We can see our group is coming up. A full panoramic view. God's window is a vantage point on the Drakensberg escarpment. The cliff dropped 700 meters from the vantage point, frequented by tourists on a clear day and can see up to Mozambique border. On the return way, we stopped at the souvenir shops. All local handicrafts. After seeing God's window, we started for the next destination. Now we are heading towards the Blyde's River Canyon. Yeah, but he did not find a lot of gold here. And this is where two rivers come together. The Trier River that I showed you, which is the Sadness River, uh, flows into the Happiness River here. Guide is talking about the rivers in Blyde's Canyon. We will see the meeting point soon. Amra Degwayakhan, Borg's Lack Potholes. See the panoramic view of the Blyde River Canyon. What a fantastic sight! There are five main river systems that influence the Blight River Canyon Nature Reserve and play a very important role as water catchments for the Kruger National Park. We are all now exploring the canyon area and heading towards the meeting point of the river. We can see the red colored Blight River coming down. It is known as the River of Sorrow and this river is flowing down the canyon. The name of the rivers are Sabi, the Blight, the Treur, Oric Stad and the Olifants rivers. There is a small bridge over the river which we need to cross to go to the other side. Borg's lack potholes are a series of natural geological formations that were formed by centuries of water flowing through the landscape. The deep gorge with the river. Blight River Canyon Nature Reserve is, is carved out of nearly 2.5 km of red sandstone.
those are three rendezvous which we can see from here. Photo shoot at the canyon. And this is the river of happiness, Trio River. It forms a very nice two-step waterfall and finally drops down to meet the Blythe River. So now we can see the potholes formed due to erosion. The potholes occur where the Trio River joins the Blythe River at the start of the Blythe River Canyon. We can see the river of happiness continues flowing and will meet the river of sorrow down into the canyon. Now that's the meeting point. Mark the pot loop holes. In a continuous manner, the force of the water in these two rivers combined with the particles of sand and rock that the rivers transport wears cylindrical potholes into the sandstone bedrock. The place is very quiet. The sun is pretty hot today. See the excellent formation of the stones which has formed into potholes due to erosion. That's the bridge there we crossed and came here. After seeing the canyon site and the meeting rivers, we are now heading towards the three rendezvous. This is probably the largest green canyon in the world. Green canyon. That is the highest mountain in this area. It's 1,944 meters above sea level. Ah. Once known as the Three Sisters, the geological formations known today as the Three Rondavels are one of the main natural highlights along Pumalanga's panorama route. A small beautiful lake adding color to the scenery. Now a close up view of the three rendezvous. South Africans know the Rondavel as a traditional beehive-shaped hut built and used over centuries by indigenous people as their homes. There are two other landmarks in this panorama route are the pinnacle which is a large quartzite column rising from a deep gorge and there are Sudawala caves. Sudawala caves are known as the oldest caves in the world. Although the caves were formed over a period of 3000 million years, they have only been accessible to the public since 1960. After seeing the rendezvous, we are again heading towards Johannesburg. We crossed the Eco Caves area. Now it's lunch time. So a brief halt on the way at Chicano's Chicken. It's a fast food center. We will now head towards Johannesburg Hotel where we'll stay overnight and move to the airport tomorrow. We are now crossing a town, Dulstrom. This Dulstrom town has the highest railway station of South Africa and it is also known as the premier fly fishing destination. 
So that's the end of our tour. The next day we are heading towards the Johannesburg airport where we'll take our flight to Mumbai. This portion of the route is also scenic. After seeing my videos, please do like, share and comment. And please do not forget to subscribe my channel.